the cooking with mommy and Maya, or mm -hmm. Maya and mommy, either way. Mm -hmm. What are we doing today? Hickory nut. Hickory mm -hmm. nut. It's green, and if it has, Let me have one if it has black spots, it, it's easier to know it's wiper. <laughs> and this is the one cracked up. This is okay, the wait, 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 wait. Almost wait. cracked. Wait. <laughs> okay, so this is a hickory nut. Um, this one, I believe, is a, a rough bark. There's two different ones. Um, let me, let me. But Can I eat it now? No, you can't eat it now. So this is uh, what it looks like when it falls from the tree. You want to get them when they fall from the tree. You don't want to pick it off the tree. It wouldn't be ripe enough. And you want to make sure, I mean, a little bit of black's okay, but if they're all black, they're probably from last year. Um, and then I'll show you what we do. You need some tools. First, you need a nutcracker. Yeah, nutty cracker. Um, but not one that's fuzzy. Otherwise, it can get stuck in your hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we have um, what I call a nut meat extractor, but it's really for like, I mean, I... they're both for lobster or whatever. Um, I... So you don't really need any special tools to get this open. And I recommend you doing this as you're picking them outside because you don't have any reason. This is the husk. So, that? yeah, I, I'm opening this one. So I this is the inside it. of the husk. Um, and this is the, all the part you don't need for anything. Um, and it comes apart very easily. And like, and like, and you, you, you show them how easy it is. Do it over this. There you go. So even a six-year-old can do it. Hmm. Okay. Once you have the nut out, and this is the yeah, nut. Yeah, nutty, nutty, nut. Ooh, sorry. Nut, nut, nut. Sorry. And if you want some fun, you can, you can try Oops, and put the it. nut back together with no, but with no nut in it. I guess that's a fun puzzle to put back together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Then what you do is you see I got a bowl of water here. Um, this is an example. These are all bad ones because see how they're floating. So let's see if either one of these are any good. Oh, neither one of these are good. It's a good thing I have the good ones um, already in the oven. They've been going for a little while. Um, once you get past this stage, anything that sinks, the floaters you get rid of. This is all garbage. Um, any of them that sink. That means it's white. And no, it, it, it means that there's air in there, could be a bug in there. Um, either way, it's not good. But yeah. then you you got to um, cure them. So you got to make sure they're completely dry. I've seen people put them outside um, for overnight, two days, three days. Some people have done weeks. Uh, it's been very hard to uh, decipher what the best method is. But because it's freezing outside where I am right now, um, already, I'm in uh, Warwick, New York, so it is about 50 degrees outside. And there's a ton of squirrels in our yard. They would right just steal now we're in fall. It is fall. But it would be, it would be really, really cold to uh, be working out there, and I'm, I don't like cold. So um, I am using the dehydrating setting, uh, basically. <laughs> on my toaster oven because I'm only doing a small batch and that's been going I overnight. I um, so Look, I put it back together and now yeah, and look, it's a nut. Okay. And take it out, take um, it out, take the nut, see if it drops, it doesn't drop, it is fine. Okay, good. Now, um, so here's the nut itself again. This is out of the toaster oven. And this you can't crack with your hands. You definitely need to use a cracker. Yeah, it's scary. So, if you teenagers still don't get so you want, sassy. Do you want to try and do it? Yeah. All right, do it over this. Squeeze hard. All your strength. Woo! Look at that. And uh, then there's um, the the meat inside. Mm. And... I want to try again. I want to try again. No, no, don't touch those. Those are garbage. Mm. All right, you'll help me do the rest of them off Mama. camera. Oh, I'm sorry. You okay? Okay. Let me see. All better. Okay. Let me have this hand for a minute. No. We'll snuggle after. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't show. Them. Thank you. Okay. So then you're gonna take the picker and get behind the nut. Can I eat this? This picker's not really great. It's kind of thick. Can I eat it, mommy? No, no. Wait. I'm gonna give you something to eat. So there's there's part of the meat. And, uh, let's see, Maya, what do you think? 
You like it, huh? Oh. So hickory nuts um, can replace walnuts in just about any recipe. And from what I've heard, hickory nut brownies are insane. So we might try to make some of those. But um, once you have cured the nuts, they can store for a really long time. And you can take like an old onion bag or a cheesecloth type bag and hang them in somewhere dry. And um, he would certainly have them for years to come. I, I, from what I've been gathering, it's been about two years. So this is the American Hickory Nut. Um, this one, I believe, is from the Rough Bark. Now, um, we got it because I don't happen to have hickory on my six acres of woods, which I thought was crazy after searching for one. So I went to... Um, a garlic and honey festival yesterday, right? Yeah. And that was good. The honey and was yummy. And I Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think we have a fan. So um, we did get some uh, propolis honey yesterday, which I'll tell you a little bit about, um, from Valley Fall Farms in Johannesburg, New Jersey. Um, but this, this honey and garlic festival was um, at the Sussex County Fairground in New Jersey, which is near us. And we met these people... And I'll show you their card. Whoop, here it is. So, if you want to get a hold of them, they gave me the hickory Look nuts. Look at this big piece I got. A lunch bag, brown bag size, a dollar. Look at the big piece. So, it was pretty great. Oh, wow, that is a big piece. And, um, they were just really, the really, really helpful. That was the whole nut. And, uh, that was the whole nut. Here's the other side of their card. This way you have it. So big shout out to them. The gentleman there was extremely helpful on telling me what to do with them. And um, this is one kind of nut. And I think we're going to go out there and do a black walnut or two. We'll go scavenge some of those. And I know one of our neighbors yeah. has falling all over the road chestnuts. So keep an eye out. <laughs> Come on. Keep an eye out for uh, some upcoming videos. But if you have a hickory... Don't be scared. These are amazing flavor. I think that these are, are a really underused nut, and it's really not that hard to shell them. The black walnut is insanely difficult. Um, but I have been looking up a couple tricks, and maybe we'll see if we can figure it out. But uh, they're very messy, so we're going to do only a couple of them. Did you just go and grab a... Look at this little sneaky bum. You can tell she likes them. Anyway... Thank you for joining us for the uh, Hickory Walnut, and uh, be sure to try them and enjoy it, and comment below. Let me know if you got out there and tried one, and be sure to like us and subscribe. Thanks well, for joining us. Well, you don't us. need to like us if you don't like it. <laughs> well, that's true. But don't, Thank you. if you're a teenager, don't be too shaggy. That's one of the things from the last one. Okay, say bye. Bye. Bye, guys quick add in to the end of this video because I did say I would talk about the propolis honey and then forgot. So um, just a quick little bit about it. The propolis honey has the propolis from the hive which is a natural antibiotic that helps the baby bees grow without getting sick. So um, according to the man who sold me this at the county fair who seemed very knowledgeable, um, it is a natural antibiotic for us. And as you can see, it has like a grainy kind of texture to it when you mix it. And he said you use a little teaspoon like this uh, when you start feeling like you're getting strep throat and it's cured by the morning. Um, to me, it tastes like really good honey. And um, as you can see there, the little grains in it, you feel the texture, but it doesn't really change the flavor very much. So I just wanted to add this little bit in because it's a good homeopathic remedy, I guess. And um, you really got to mix it probably better because I could see. <laughs> I'm licking this one trying to talk. I can still see it's not quite mixed. But I'm going to give it a try the next time we're sick. And maybe you want to give it a try before you jump to antibiotics. Give it a chance. One night can't hurt, right? Unless you're very sick. Then, of course, don't take direction from a person on YouTube. Okay. Thank you for joining us.